Well, it looks like we are going to continue to see this freezing rain at least for the next couple of hours as temperatures are still below freezing. Our weather bug temperature is 31 degrees. It's 30 at the airport. So we still got this uh, whole situation for a little while here as we do see rain from Bluffton to Portland into Fort Wayne. And it looks like that is all accumulating ice right now. Still seeing some accumulating ice in Kendallville all the way up into Steuben County, where it's been more of an ice storm than a snowstorm for you all up there. Well, that's the way the weather looks across the area as we continue to watch mostly cloudy skies and temperatures will rise above that freezing mark, we think, right now at about 8 o'clock this morning. Well, it looks like we'll continue to see those icy roads out there, and Matt McCutcheon is out covering that. Uh, is it getting any better out there, Matt? <laughs> No better so far, Greg. Thanks. It is definitely raining right now. In fact, take a look at my umbrella. Since we've been out here for about an hour, you can see the ice rain slushy mix has accumulated on my new Channel 15 umbrella. Definitely showing you what is still coming down out here live this shower. Now, taking a look at traffic conditions right here along Ardmore and Jefferson, you can see traffic is moving pretty slowly and still a slushy mix on the road. So definitely allow yourself a little extra time. We've only heard of a few minor slide offs so far this morning, so that is definitely some good news and we haven't really heard of any power outages so that is also some good news so it appears in some respects we dodged a bullet but definitely allow yourself a little extra time this morning live from the mobile newsroom matt mccutcheon news channel 15. Today's Traffic Tracker 15 report brought to you by O'Daniel Mazda, the new 09 Mazda 3 with up to 32 miles per gallon available today. While city and county police are warning that the roads and the streets are ice covered, the rain is freezing as it hits the ground and the side streets have ice on top of the snow. So please be extra careful. We've got an accident at Fairfield and Pontiac. A pole is down and the traffic lights are not working. So you need to be extra careful in this area. Once again, traffic lights not working at Fairfield and Pontiac. And we've got an accident I-69 southbound just north of the 102. That's the West Jefferson exit. That's your Traffic Tracker 15 report. Back to you, Pat and Sarah. Hey, thanks. It is a busy morning. Here's a quick look at the rest of this morning's top news story.